What's up everybody, my name's Chance and today we're going to be playing with some giant monsters. Now in this event, giant monsters, whenever you cast a creature spell with converted mana cost 4 or greater, you're going to draw a card and Narset and Nexus of Fate are both banned in this format. So it seems like a fun just sort of, how do I say this? Uh, like a flavor event, right? Because it's not it's not too infringing on what decks you want to play. It's not too overbearing that you couldn't still play aggro if you didn't want to, right? And I've even thought about that. Like so many people are gonna be playing such slow decks, trying to ramp into these four, you know, four mana cost creatures. That couldn't you just go aggro and <laughs> beat everybody super early? Anyways, I decided not to do that today. We are gonna focus on the giant monsters challenge i guess and that being getting down a whole lot of really big creatures and uh, we're gonna play a deck that we've already played here on the channel however it was for a regular regular standard uh format whenever we played it last but i figured it worked perfectly fine then so it should work perfectly fine here as literally almost all of the creatures besides the land of war and arboreal grazer are above the four mana cost so yeah <laughs> um I, of course besides your hydras but you know yeah, I don't see you casting down a Hydra for less than a 2-2, which makes it a 4 mana cost creature. So, yeah, um, this deck, if you want to see more on it, like I said, I did a video on it. Just type in literally Hydrating Stompy or uh, just go back a couple of my videos and you'll find it. Um, so, no real deck tech today. We're just going to... Just going to be hopping right in, but before we do, of course, as always, I would like to remind you to leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video and a comment in the comment section if you have any suggestions for this event or future decks in this event. Um, furthermore, consider subscribing if you're new here. It is free and it gives you an update every time I post an awesome video such as this one. Also, we've unlocked memberships with YouTube, so anybody looking to support the channel can hit join, which it should be, again, somewhere. I don't know where they put it on these videos, so just scroll over it use your finger to you know scroll up and down um but yeah if you click the button it should tell you like hey this tier gives you these perks this tier gives you these perks and this tier gives you these perks so it's kind of like patron on youtube which is why i decided to join it because it seems like simpler right just combine two websites into one i guess anyways we've also been per partnered with tcgplayer.com so anybody looking to pick up some magic cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards or whatever playing cards you may want to pick up can head over to tcgplayer.com um, and use the promo code the new doctor spillican on any of your purchases and a little percent of it will come my way so yeah all that out of the way we're gonna hop right into some matches el guapo gonna be our first foe el guapo I don't know what guapo means. Is it money? Is it cash? The cash? I don't know. Um, sure, we'll keep it. <laughs> seems seems fun. Seems doable. Lana War. Yep, we can we can expect to see a lot of those in this event. I think. Now it is unfortunate we didn't hit a Lana War or an Arboreal Grazer, and we didn't hit a whole lot of land to be completely honest. So things may be a bit strained, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Um, growth Spiral. Ooh, really hoping I hit a land there. Maybe a land here? No, that's just a brick actually, so we can do this, but it doesn't, like, you know, we don't draw anything. It's literally just a blocker for the land of war, so. Stand strong, Krasis. Hold the battlefield. <clears throat> Hold it long enough for us to draw at least one more land, you know? Let me let me get in this game before I even get taken out. So they have two two elves down. We're oh no, it's happening. So this is kind of the bad thing about playing these like really high end decks. Sometimes you just draw your high end cards and you literally don't draw any lands, and that's that's just probability, you know? It's literally just gonna happen. And I'm sure I'll still have somebody comment, Hey bro, this deck sucks. I you know, I literally only drew something like this you know and like three lands so I couldn't play anything I mean I don't know I don't know what to tell you it happens I get fucked in magic just as much as y'all do <laughs> uh, does theirs have wings or something what, what's going on there hey an arboreal grazer but you know what it doesn't have a land to play so it's it's uh it's kind of a moo point you know it just doesn't matter 
Uh, yes, I know it's a mute point, by the way. Um, I was making a friend's joke for any of those of you that have seen it. I'm sure you got it. Um, for anyone that didn't, I, I do know it's a mute point, not a moo point. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I should clarify on things like that because there's... I feel like there's two kinds of people that try to correct me, and there's always people that try to correct me because that's just the, you know, that's just how how human beings are. We try to improve each other, and that's that's I think that's how we should be, right? Um, so I know there's going to be people trying to correct me on that before I I even made the point that it is a, a reference. What's going on here, huh? You getting down a, a big old crisis, 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 hydroid? Come on, El Guapo, have some mercy. Um, I'm taking the the raw end of the deal here. I'm not even gonna lie, it's it's a bit rough. Yeah, if only, if only that were our crisis. All right, what do you, what else do you? Oh, discarding. Holy shit. I don't like it, but like, what, uh, you know, even if we draw into another land at this point, it's, it's a Beast Whisperer, it's not a whole lot, so. And for some reason, now I cannot play the event. Already! <laughs> On into a game two. Jury, or Yuri, depending you know, depending on what language it is. Um, gonna be our next foe. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have a bit more luck with our land here. Already seeing the Kiora and Arboreal makes me feel happy. Um, <laughs> don't start with me, Vivian, okay? Today is not the day for you to be flooding me with high-cost spells, right? I want them. Don't get me wrong, I want them. Just, just let me get to the point where I can cast them first, then start giving them to me, you know? Alrighty, let's go, Cure, you beautiful son of a bitch, you. Not to brag, but my friend's kind of a big deal. Not to brag, huh? I think we go Verate. <laughs> I see you, Jury. Yuri. I'm gonna call him Yuri because Jury doesn't feel right, if that makes sense. It, it could be Jury, but... I'm gonna go with my gut here and say it's Yuri. Um, but do that. It does enter with four attack, and it does enter as a four four. We go land award does not. Uh, oh wait, yes it does. Yeah. Okay. So that that still works out fine. So we'll untap this. And we'll go ahead and go Voracious for two. There's that card draw. And there's a 4-5. Yeah, I guess we could have attacked their Atlanta War, but we didn't have anything to swing in with after that. So <clears throat> I feel like making making our Hydra a little bit bigger is better. Let's see what they do in response. They are playing Bont, so Rocks Oracle. <laughs> Alright. Drawing a shit ton of cards. That they are. Um, but back at you. We're gonna go for the, the high feet play here and go ahead and get down the Beast Whisperer instead of going for what I know is right and go ahead and playing out the Hydroid. So. Take you. Hit their Kiora and they'll probably just take it. I don't see them chum blocking with the rocks. Yeah. And then we could untap our Voracious, honestly. Yeah, it'll be fun. We have another Kiora, we have a Vivian in hand, just in case we do draw into the Bio Essence Hydra, so... I feel like using our Kiora here, given our Hydra kind of Vigilance, you know? It still taps, but it does get to untap, so I don't know. I feel like it's worth it, though. We need to... Get rid of their Kiora and cut cut the closeness of this game, right? Another Rocks Oracle, so they're drawing a whole lot, which 
I mean, isn't that scary? Because when our when our Hydroid Crisis comes down, it's gonna draw cards. Plus, Cure is gonna draw a card for it. Plus, the event passive is gonna draw a card for it. So, you know, it's it's not the end of the world. Let's see. Although they are like literally neck and neck with us on how ramped they are, so. Vivian, you'll have your time to shine, but I think for right now we need to go crisis. So let's see what we got here. Um, two, four, five, six, right? This two, four, five, Kiora, six. So, tap, Kiora, untap. Whoops. Just meant to hit plus one, then plus five. All right, so six, six, crisis coming down. Let's draw some cards. Gargos, excellent. Nisa, cool. A uh, bunch of lands, yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We are gonna have to discard. Do we swing in with our voracious Hydra? Yes, actually, because it can kill both of their rocks oracles, and it'll take both of their rocks oracles in order to fully defend it. So, yes, we swing in. And then we say, what are you, what are you gonna do, Yuri? Nothing. Just gonna take it. That's a dead Kiora. Well, I'll take it. Um, what do we want to discard here? What do we want to discard? Well, probably not at any of our playable stuff. I'm just gonna discard an island, honestly. I think Temple of Mystery is fantastic. Giving us the scry will be uh, mighty fine. Alright, so next turn. We're at, what, six? We could be at eight mana, so we can play a Gargos. Plus a 4-4 four, four Hydroid Crisis? That seems fine, right? Because Gargos makes our Hydras cost 4 less, so as long as we have 2 mana left over after the Gargos to pay for the initial, you know, green-blue green blue cost of the Crisis, then, then we're fine, so. They got another Cure down, by the way. I wasn't really paying attention to their, their turn there. I was more thinking about my own. But yeah, seems seems good. Let's go ahead and go boom. Boom. We're going to be drawing a, a lot of cards. You know what would be really good in this, actually? Uh, Wayward Frenzy. Or Wayward Swordtooth? Wayward... I don't know what it is. I think it's Wayward Sword Tooth. I don't know where I'm getting the Wayward Frenzy from. We can go Growth Spiral here and get the Forest down. Or we can just untap and get down a 5-5 five, five Crisis. Oh man, we're getting dangerously close to just milling ourselves. But I do want the 5-5 five, five Crisis and I do want the card draw on second thought. Okay, so 5, boom! <laughs> Three mana for a 5-5 five, five crisis that draws us two cards. Four cards. Five cards. <laughs> <clears throat> Not too shabby. Alright, so we swing at their face with that. We swing at their Kiora with that. And we see what they do. Now they can use Atlanta War and a Rocks to kill my Voracious. If they do, fine. You know, fine I guess. Um, so yeah. The reason we're doing six to the face is because we're looking for our uh, our God Eternal. God Eternal Ronas. What do we want to get rid of? Lana War is probably fun. Discard six cards. Holy crap. I guess Anissa is fun. Probably don't need the Beast Whisperer, to be honest. We have two copies of Cure, probably don't need that. And what about another land? Okay, I was about to say, if that's not enough, then I don't know what we're discarding after that, because everything else I kind of want. Alrighty. So, what what's our play here? We can go for a lot of card draw and try and get Ronos and just win off that. Um, hmm. Go Nisa and put another body on the field. Or go Voracious, take out the Rocks Oracle just pretty much immediately. Hmm. 
<laughs> Tinder shoot. Tinder shoot's interesting, but it only it only stops us if we can't hit the Ronos, because Ronos just gives our crisis, you know, double power, and then we have we have all the power. <laughs> we'll have 22 damage in the sky, so even with their little boreal grazer, there won't be much they can do about it. I'm still not seeing where their need for white mana comes in at. Maybe there's something I'm missing? I don't know. Alrighty. Opponent's turn is over. Finally. They do have a counter spell. Look at that. I don't know if they could be more obvious or not, but, uh, you know, it's, it is what it is. What do you say we give them, we give them a little bit to, to nibble up at, huh? What do you think they'll bite? Uh, what do you think we care enough for them to buy that? I guess Vivian would be fun. Here, counter that. Whoa, they don't have a counter? Well, I'll leave that mana up. Maybe it was just accident. It's fine because we can still do a really big Hydra, um, especially with Kiora. So, uh, is there... No. I was about to say, I don't think they have anything for our Vivian to even destroy. Ooh! This is literally just what I was talking about. Although I really want the Bioess Insider, I have to take the Ronos. So, then we just do one of these moves, one of these moves, and uh, yeah, we win the game. <laughs> Ideally, they may have like a seal away, which could could hurt. But boom, boom, there, right? Hell, why not throw? Okay, <laughs> that's better. Game two being picked up by us. We didn't get we didn't get mana screwed, so that's how it should that's how it should work. Oh, and <laughs> a whole lot of rewards. Awesome. Alrighty, so on into a game three, which will hopefully be the tiebreaker. Um, although game one we we got mana screwed and then we got beat by our own deck, so it's like it is what it is. On to a game three. Target opponent <laughs> gonna be our next foe. Uh huh. And we go first with this exceptional hand. I'm gonna keep it because if we can hit the Cura Hydroid Crisis Wombo combo, it'll be nice. Um, like we'll draw a whole lot of cards. Uh, it could could blow up in my face though. We've we've seen that be the case before. <laughs> All right, so we are going to grow spiral and put down the Temple of Mystery. Allow us to scry. Ooh, they're going Gruel. They could also be going Jund or Teamer or, you know, a whole, whole lot of other stuff, but we'll assume they're going Gruel for now. So let's get our scry on. How about that? Bioessence Hydra. Um, hell yeah. <laughs> Card works fantastic with Kiora. Marauding Raptor. Ooh, I'm excited to see this. I am excited to see what you have for me. Although we can't just go... Can we? Alrighty. Alright, Kiora. Just... Don't lose too much health. Otherwise, you know, my hype about the Bioessence Hydra was for naught. Just don't don't lose too much health, you big old snake lady you. What are we at? We're at five mana next turn. Which is our Bioessence Hydra. It's also our Carnage Siren if we use Kiora, but uh Okay, Kiora's dead. Hmm. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that is unfortunato. So what is our next move then? Do we still play the Bioess Insider? Do we care about the Bioess Insider? 4-4 four, four, Trample? <laughs> Not gonna lie, their dinosaur deck is probably... okay. This is not about to be a fun time for yours truly. What do we do? What do we do? 
Uh, say we save the BioS and Hydra, let's just get down to Hydroid. We'll get some card draw off here, so there's one, two. It's not bad for a 3-3. Three, three. And that does put us up to enough mana for the Carnage Tyrant, or to draw three cards off of Hydroid Crisis, number two. We'll see though. They can still swing into deal seven, so that's not ideal. Alright, I think we have to get down the Carnage Tyrant. Carney T, use Donos against their Donos. If they get to that, um, you know, it's gonna suck. Ripjaw Raptor, fuck. Alright, well, Donos, an another strong uh, tribal to be bringing in, you know? You got Hydras, you got Donos. Zombies are not there. I mean, you could do a four mana cost vampire deck for sure. Maybe even use the three mana Soren to help you get down those four mana vampires. But, uh, oh, ooh. You're savage. Do we leave both of the marauding raptors down on the field? Do we kill the ripjaw raptor? What do we do here? Guys, ladies, gentlemen. Boys and girls, things of all ages. I'm gonna need some help winning this one. <laughs> These dinos are actually scary. Scary, scary. Alright, so Carney T drew us into a Kiora. What are we at on mana though? Four, six, seven. That's a Kiora and a Bioessence Hydra actually in the same turn so that is pretty good because that's a solid solid body now they're up to six mana now it costs what eight for their big old avatar over there hmm <laughs> I'll, I'll feel a hell of a lot safer once we get down the bio essence hydra right because that's that's a one turn play we can do it smoothly. The Hydra should come in with six plus one plus one counter, so it should come in as oh, that's not good. So it should come in as a ten ten. Yeah, so they got it because they had two marauding raptors. This may be it for us because they can realistically swing in with everything, right? And they have no, they have lethal right here. Swing in with everything. They have lethal, don't they? Because that's that's seven, and that's eight, and only have thirteen. And only had one defender. I don't know. Awesome. They <laughs> they killed one of their own creatures. So I will take that as a victory in my book. Now, can we survive if we play this bio essence, or should we just go double grazer into a really big crisis? When I say really big, it would actually be like a 3-3. A three, three. That's not big enough. Alright, Kiora. <laughs> you and Bio Essence Hydra gotta hold down the fort just, just for a single turn. Yeah, I, I think that's GG, right? They just, surely they don't miscalculate two turns in a row. They swing in, that's 7, especially with Domri now, oh my god, yeah, that's 9, 12, uh, what's, what's 12 plus 3, 15, they have 15. Surely they're going to swing all in this turn, like surely. This is a nice deck they have though. Target opponent bringing in the spicy dinos. That may be what we play tomorrow because this is like, this is seriously strong, right? And I thought Hydroid Crisis would be strong. So this is going to be it. Unfortunately, we lost two today. Um, I'm not counting that first game as a loss, okay? 
We drew we drew three lands. What do you what are you gonna do when you're playing in a giant monsters event and you draw three lands? So let's see what we get here. Okay, yeah, cool. M twenty cards. I am all down for it. So thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully y'all will have some better luck if you try out the Hydroid or Hydroid. I don't know why I always do that. If you try out the Hydra Tribal in this event, um I do think it's a good tribal to play in this event. I don't think this video necessarily showcased that in the best way. Anyways, um, yeah, thanks again for watching, and until either later tonight or tomorrow, peace.